Hey baby girls, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo están? I hope everyone is doing super, super well today. Welcome to another Halloween nail design. So let me just kind of walk you through the products that we're going to be using on today's video. So to start off, we're going to be using, of course, our 3XL square tips, which soon they'll be in a box. And we're also going to be using Snow Bomb, which it's literally what the name says. It's bomb, you guys. And we're also going to be using this Bombshell Pink Monster Mash. This one is from our new Halloween collection. Um, we're also going to be using Green Lightning. This is from our Neon Collection, our Summer Neon Collection. And Matcha. This one is from our Spring Collection, you guys. Um... And last but not least, of course, we're going to be using our number 14 Kalinsky brush. So the 14, the 12 and 14 Ombre Kalinsky brushes, which are these, the ones that I'm using um, today, they're not going to be ever back in stock, you guys. They're never, ever, ever, ever coming back to the website once they... Um, sell out that's it you guys the 14 is already sold out i even removed it from the store i'm still waiting for the number 12 to get sold out they're really good brushes you guys don't get me wrong they are really 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 good brushes um i love the bristles to them and i know i love how thin the bristles get you know what i mean it just lets you work perfectly um while you're capping or working with your acrylic they don't fluff up or anything it's a perfect brush i love it you guys i really do like this brush the only thing that i don't like is the fact that it's not acetone resistant or monomer resistant um so if you have that problem where it starts to peel off you might want to like bling it out or something even apply sometimes um, a gel polish. I think that might work, you guys. But I'm not really too sure because I haven't tried it. But um, yeah, I don't like that. So I'm going to switch up my brushes. We're going to have new brushes. Hopefully around Christmas when everything releases. The Christmas collection releases and all. That's when we're going to have new brushes. We're going to have a new 16 brush. So if you, if you really want to step up your game and use a number 16 brush, I think that one would be perfect. Um, and we're going to have a 14 and a 16 and a new 3D brush as well. The same bristles and all, just with that new handle, you guys. Um, so, yeah. These brushes are never coming back, okay? The only ones that are here to stay are the ones with the crystal handle, with the pink crystal handle, and the brand new ones that we're going to get on the website. Um, so I'm asking my supplier, I'm telling you, like, is there any way that these are going to peel off with monomer or with acetone? And she said no. So let's, let's, let's pray, you guys. Let's pray that they're not going to start to peel off. Um, so yeah, you guys. So we're going to start and we're going to go ahead and do, you know, a beautiful monster mash nail design. I really wanted something because of the acrylic that we're going to be using in today's video. By the way, our Halloween collection is still in stock. If you guys want to go ahead and purchase that. Um, I think I have like two collections left, you guys. I'm not even playing. I have two collections left. Um, so they're literally about to sell out. Um, I know it's a little late now, but of course they're perfect. Some of the colors are perfect all throughout the year. For example, it, um, it comes with Edward Scissorhands and um, Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead and Edward Scissorhands, you can use it all throughout the year. Um, the rest of the glitters, I don't know, maybe if you you're, you're feeling a little vampy, maybe Voodoo or maybe even um, Hollow's Eve. That one, you can use it all throughout the year. I don't know, you guys. Even um, Halloween Town, you can use it throughout the summer because it's perfect because it has like yellows and oranges and it's so beautiful you guys anyway anyway you guys <laughs> so i really wanted like a monster mash type of design so i'm like what do i do what do i do what do i do um so honestly you guys like i mentioned a couple of videos back i have like i don't know what's wrong with me but my head's been shutting off when it comes to halloween designs like i don't know what's happening to me so um you know i was going through pinterest and stuff to get some inspo and then I went through Instagram after that. And then I remember that Vanity Val, 
shout out to you girl i think that's her um youtube channel vanity val she she does amazing and beautiful press-ons she did some beautiful press-ons you guys last year in pink um with a big eyeball and then she blinged it out so i'm like you know what girl like that is such an amazing idea let me go ahead and do that of course i'm gonna you know i'm giving her credit because this is not my idea the rest of it it, it is but not the eyeball with the bling around it okay that's I got that idea from her. So shout out to her because she did an amazing job with those press-on um, Halloween uh, nails from last year. They were so beautiful. I remember falling in love with that nail design. And I totally remembered like, hey, like I remember. So I go to her Instagram and then I, I scroll down and I see the exact nail design. I'm like, yeah, that's it. That's beautiful. And it also kind of reminded me of like a Monster Mash type of design that I wanted. Because I really wanted something with eyeballs. I wanted something with eyeballs, but I wasn't really sure what to do. So, yeah, like that's totally her credit. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my version of this eyeball type of Monster Mash vibe that we're going with today. So, yeah, baby girls, um, how was your weekend? Let me know. What did you guys do? Was it fun? Um, I guess mine was all right. I've been, you know, just with the family and stuff. The same old, same old. But, um, yeah, you guys, we're back. We're back here on Monday. I have a couple of orders to do right now. And I have a few orders to do, so I need to do that right now, you guys. You'll probably be sent out a tracking number later on. Do not worry. Um, and then I'll probably ship them out tomorrow, okay? Because I'm not going to have time today to go to the, to the post office. So I'll ship them out tomorrow first thing in the morning. Do not worry. Do not worry. Um, so yeah, baby girls, I don't have really... A, a spooky story like per se but i remember this one time okay let me just tell you guys because i was like i was asking my husband like hey um i need to tell a spooky story over there on my youtube channel and i don't know so as i've told you before like i don't know you guys i've never experienced nothing um i've never seen anything in particular you know what i mean like, for example, oh, I would see a shadow or a shadow would follow me or I saw it from the corner of my eye or I heard this or no, you guys like, like seriously, never. But there is this particular time in my life when something freaking weird happened. I just remembered last night. So as I told you, like I was telling my husband, like, I need to tell a scary story. And he's like, OK, why don't you tell him about this? time and blah 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 so on so on so on i'm like oh my god that's true let me tell them so let me tell you girl what happened so um back in 2010 okay this was back in 2010 you guys yes it was quite a few years ago i was still living at my mom's house i had already my my son was born in 2009 um and my son was about to be a year old because he was born in september and this happened in summer of 2010 so i was still living at my mom's house because my husband and i were still looking for you know for a place to live um he was a truck driver he had just began um his truck driving career and stuff so we were um you know finding a place to live still so he's like you know what um you're, we're gonna have to stay at your mom's for a little bit and then after that, hopefully we'll find somewhere to stay and or somewhere to buy and we'll move. So I was like, cool, that's that's totally, totally cool. So, yeah, I was living at my mom's house. Make a story short because I'm going into a lot of details here. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I was still living at my mom's house. And I remember my little sister was still in school. So my mom would get up every morning to take her to school so that particular morning i think it was like a monday as well so me and my husband had been um he would come over right of course and he was already gonna leave that day 
on a Sunday. He was already gonna leave that day, so we were outside. I, you know, I helped him put all his stuff in the truck and everything, and we were getting ready to say goodbye because he would leave for like a month. Um, so we're, you know, I was telling him goodbye and all, and we lasted there maybe like about thirty minutes saying goodbye and talking and blah blah blah, and you know, so my mom the next day in the morning she gets up she takes my little sister to school and when she comes back she tells me she's like gabby um were you and um your husband you know playing with the rocks outside or something because mind you you guys okay let me let me kind of explain to you what my mom's house kind of looks like so her house is right in the center and there's this big land you guys because remember i told you we acá vivimos en el rancho so it's like a big land and there's like a big huge um yard in the front and then there's like a big yard in the back my my mom and my dad had like horses in the back um and stuff you know what i mean and so the front yard was like it, it there was like trees and stuff but it's like a pretty big yard so that's where my husband would park and we that's where we were at that one sunday before of course you know before my mom woke up in the morning to take my sister to school anyway so um he's she um she comes in and then she goes were you like playing with the rocks or something drawing little circles and stuff and then i'm like no why she's like okay can you I'll, i'll need to show you something you need to come outside so then i go outside and literally you guys there's like freaking like crop circles there's like freaking crop circles i'm not kidding you guys like if something literally landed perfectly on top of like that whole land space just sat on top of that land and i don't know i don't know you guys it was so weird and just left so um that's what happened and Um, I look at them and I'm like, no, mom, like, we didn't do that. She goes, are you sure? Because this is starting to creep me out. And then I'm like, no, mom, I promise you, like, th that was not us. And it's like the tire tracks of my husband's truck were, like, on the bottom of the actual crop circles, if that makes any sense. So I'm like, I was trying to explain that to her. I'm like, look, like, no, it couldn't have been us, like, this was after he left so he, she was like oh my god that's true like that is so true and the, it looked it kind of looked like little circles but you know how when you drew like little suns when you when you were in um freaking kindergarten or something it kind of looked like a perfect circle in the center and then it kind of had like a little sun type of design at the outer of like the outside of the circle and then it it, it got I, oh my god you guys i can't even explain it it's so weird it kind of connected to another one perfectly and so on and so forth and this was i mean perfectly made you guys perfectly made so you know it was so weird so I'm, i'm like you know what mom i'm gonna grab a freaking broom or something a stick or something and i'm just gonna wipe them off the the dirt she's like yeah let me help you so we did that you guys we removed them and we went to go check on like the neighbor's patio and stuff and nothing you guys like nothing so we were like okay that's weird so we stayed with that we didn't tell my dad or anything because we didn't want to worry him my dad was he was a type of person that he would worry a lot you know what i mean he would worry a lot for you know his daughter's safety his wife's safety like and, and you know we didn't want to worry him so the the day after my mom takes my little sister to school again and the same circles come back again you guys the same circles i'm not kidding you guys every single day for a whole week those circles would come back those circles would come back and they were so perfectly made you guys as if like i said like something actually landed on top of the land and just like just left you know what i mean it was so freaking weird so about like the third or fourth day we found two big huge footprints and i'm not talking about literally 
footprints footprints you guys like hours no you guys these were like 14 like he wore a 14 shoe size shoe but it did not have toes <laughs> it did not have toes you guys it was like i don't even know how to describe it to you guys it was like like it had like three freaking big huge toes it was so weird you guys and it was big and we only found two we found one like from one corner and the other one was like, all the way to the other corner of the yard so it was so weird and it was like all over the yard you guys all over the front yard it was covered with those circles it was so freaking weird and every single day my mom and i would just remove them we would just kind of grab like a stick or whatever we found you know even like my mom's broom i would go inside to get my mom's broom so that i could like you know remove because we were scared you guys that was freaking scary and then another scary thing is that at night we would knock out everybody would knock out you guys i'm not kidding everybody nobody ever heard nothing and i've told you before I've, i think i told you in my past um creepy story i'm a very light sleeper you guys i've always been a very light sleeper so whatever i'm like in a deep sleep but whatever little noise that i hear i wake up like i could hear it i'm like oh what was that you know what i mean it was so weird so the fact that nobody heard nothing my mom is also a very um light sleeper so the fact that me and her knocked the f out and we never heard a thing was so freaking weird that was so weird you guys and my son uh, um like i told you like he was still little he was like six seven months at this time and he would still kind of drink mil milk throughout the night um so i would have to wake up in the middle of the night and take him a bottle and stuff and um you guys he wouldn't wake up he wouldn't wake up and my mom would ask me like hey did chris wake up in the middle of the night to for his bottle i'm like mom no like he knocked out i knocked out everybody knocked out he wouldn't cry for his bottle nothing you guys nothing it was it was so freaking awkward it was so crazy and i remember taking pictures we took pictures and i wish i had them you guys because we had my sister and i had um one of those um cameras that everybody in high school had you know what i mean back in 2007 8 9 if you know you know um and we would be you know everywhere we would go we would take pictures so we had a freaking camera and i remember taking pictures of those particular um circles but i don't know what happened to the sd card and i lost it and i don't know you guys i don't know I don't know what happened but i wish i had it so that i can show you because when we tell this story to people they don't believe us they really don't believe us and the fact that we would knock out you guys and we would hear nothing and the and i don't want to say crop circles because they, we don't even have crops but what i'm trying to say is those freaking circles appeared the very next morning with us you know removing them and stuff that was so freaking crazy so <clears throat> that happened for a whole last week you guys for a whole last week we had freaking circles in our front yard for some reason i don't know my mom well my, myself we're very um catholic we're very religious my mom would pray she would like really pray and stuff i don't know if that helped if it did gracias a dios it did because that was so creepy you guys um but after like a while after like a week or so um they never appeared again <clears throat> about a year ago my mom told me she's like hey like i feel like these circles are coming back and i'm like what do you mean she's like yeah i, I think i saw them she's like but i'm not sure they don't look very clear to me she took a picture but it didn't it didn't look nothing like the like the ones that were coming out back in 2010 so I'm like, no, mom, I don't think so. I think you're just being a little paranoid. Don't worry. I don't think that's it. She's like, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on it. And she did. But no, she never said anything again. So I don't think it was that. But yeah, you guys, that was so weird. And <laughs> I remember during that time we watched, I don't know if you guys ever heard of the movie The Fourth Kind, which I don't even think it was true, to be honest. 
supposedly is based on a true story or true events or something like that but i really don't believe it to be honest i know there's you know different i believe in different creatures out there somewhere you know what i mean but i don't believe this um movie was based on true events that's what i'm trying to say so during that time we we had watched that movie the fourth kind so if you've watched it you know what i'm talking about like that was so freaking weird that was so weird and another another weird thing that happened was that um in one of the mornings my mom wakes up because every single morning she would wake up to tell me something and then one of those mornings she would come into my room and she's like gabby guess what i'm like what mom like tell me like don't just walk in here asking me to guess because i don't know and she's like guess what happened last night she goes so your dad woke up in the middle of the night like at three in the morning for some reason he woke up again mind you we were all like knocked out at this time like nobody would wake up but one of the nights my dad gets up and he sees a freaking front door open from from my mom's house the front door was opened you guys i'm not kidding my dad was we would all like actually before going to bed like all of us before going to bed and stuff like i am a well or me you know when i know she's whatever um and my dad would like he would like triple check that freaking front door to see if it was locked and if my mom would pass through there or stuff you know she would go and check or if i would get up to like do my son's bottle and stuff i would go check you know what i mean we like we would always check to see if the front door was always locked in the middle of the night it was freaking locked my dad was like i'm pretty sure it was locked my mom was like you know what yes i saw you you locked it yes it was locked and for him to wake up in the middle of the night like at freaking three in the morning and see that freaking front door open wide open i'm like what that is crazy mom she's like yeah it was it was weird it was crazy but i'm trying to look at it in the not in the creepy side of it but in the like the oh maybe he just forgot and we all forgot it was one of those nights where we were all just very tired and we just went to sleep and we nobody checked probably wouldn't shut the door right it might have kind of been a little bit opened there was a little bit of wind and it opened it you know what i mean thank god we live in a very safe little town here everybody knows each other and stuff so we we kind of we're pretty safe here so um i'm pretty sure that that if we lived somewhere else where it's super crazy and they would have seen the door right open they would have came in you know what i mean but thankfully no we live in a very pretty safe little town and stuff so yeah that was super crazy and that was literally around that time where all these little things with the freaking circles were happening so i don't know you guys i really don't know that was so weird that was really weird so tell me what you guys think tell me if you guys think if it was something weird um i don't know because sometimes i'm like what if somebody was trying to like play a prank on us or something but then i'm like who would have the time for a whole week in the middle of the night at two three four in the morning to come and do that like i mean come on you know what i mean like no but then i'm like you know what what about those freaking footprints the footprints are weird you know what i mean they're huge they're like 14 feet each it was so freaking crazy you guys i wish you were there so you guys could see it because that was so creepy and that was so crazy so yeah baby girls let me know what you guys think because <laughs> yeah that's that's literally what i what i wanted to tell you guys today i know it was a weird story but moving on moving on moving on we're gonna go ahead and file everything you guys already saw the whole acrylic application um i had a i had a little bit of problems with the frenchies but overall i think they came out all right um i'm gonna go ahead and file everything i'm gonna leave you guys to it i really don't have nothing else to tell you guys but that and i'll be back in a little bit
Okay, baby girl, so after we're completed with the filing process, I really wanted to do some type of like slime drip nails or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline the little Frenchie here and using my purple liner brush. This one, I think I got it off of Amazon, you guys. Um, it comes with a whole different um, color scheme. You know, you have your purple, you have your green, you have your orange, reds, yellows. But I got it more because some of these were glow in the dark. I thought all of them were going to be glow in the dark, but they're not. Some of them are. This one happened to not be glow in the dark. So, anyway. Um, yeah, we're going to be using the purple from that little kit. And as you guys can see here, it's super pigmented. Like, I love how pigmented it is. So, we're going to go ahead and do the little drips. Um, I just kind of do the little dot right at the tip of the little drip. And then just bring it upwards towards the Frenchy tip the frenchy area and then i connect them that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing here onto this nail and of course we're gonna go ahead and cure under the lamp for about 60 seconds um we're also gonna be using a reflective um gel because i really wanted these to be a little reflective kind of so we're gonna go ahead and do that as well um and that reflective um, gels are also from Amazon. I think I need some for shop bomb nails, you guys. But I'm still not sure because I think you guys are more in love with the actual acrylics than with the gels. <laughs> That's why I don't really bring gels, you guys, because I already know what my store audience love, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So yeah, baby girls, um, like I mentioned, we're going to be adding the little reflective gel here. And I am using my 15mm liner brush for this. You guys know this is my jam right now. For some reason, I love it for like all this um, like um, nail art and stuff. I think it's perfect for nail art. The 20mm, I think it's perfect for Frenchies if you want to be doing gel Frenchies. That's perfect for that. But the 15mm is perfect for line work. It's perfect for um, cartoon characters and stuff like that. If that's what you like to do, it's perfect. Um, we're going to be doing the exact same thing here on the bottom of the nail. I really wasn't sure what I was going to be doing with this nail. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know, you guys. I wasn't really feeling it. But I'm like, you know what? Let's make it work. Let's make it work. So I went ahead and did the same thing here. And um, just pretty much basically the same thing. You just kind of grab the the brush, the well, yeah, the brush from the actual gel liner. Um, make your little dots, and you just connect it to the little line on top, and then you're gonna connect them by by kind of like circling that. It's super easy, you guys. Very very easy nail art for Halloween. And then of course after that, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing we did with the re reflective gel. So you wanna cure this first and then go in with your reflective gel. okay baby girl so now we're gonna be going in with the big eye so for that we're gonna be using snow bomb and of course you don't want to be using a freaking 3d brush for that okay you're never gonna finish 
so you might want to use your big huge brush for that so for that i am using the same brush that i used for the whole acrylic application which is my number 14 brush and um i'm just gonna go ahead and start by doing the the little eye so i went ahead and did you know the first circle but then i'm like you know what this looks way too flat for me i need like an actual eyeball so here i'm just trying to pat it down make it you know as perfect as i can as you know i don't want it to look like a weird eyeball you know what i mean like a crooked eyeball <laughs> Todo virulo. <laughs> no you guys i want it to look like an actual eyeball so yeah i'm trying to perfect it from you know from around and stuff and then after that i'm gonna be going in with a bigger bead or pretty much the same size you guys but i'm gonna go ahead and place it on top of that first bead and it's just gonna create a like a more 3d effect if that makes sense like a bigger eyeball pretty much so this is this is what i mean you guys and i'm gonna go ahead and place it on top of this one and again like i said it's just gonna create a more like a 3d effect more like an actual eyeball so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and connect that and just making sure that those two beads are connected and there's no like crevices if that makes sense around so i'm just gonna make sure of that Okay, so I'm going to start to create the actual, you know, I don't know what to call you guys, brain farts, but you know what I mean. I created that. I don't know what to call you guys. I'm sorry. I can't think right now. But um, I did use a reflective gel in green. I used my black and my whites, okay? And then after that, we're going to be creating some little veins, and I'm using a red um, gel oh my god a red gel for this and i don't even know the brand to it you guys i think it's no reserve or melody Susie. i don't remember either one but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and create the little veins of course they have to be in red because we want a creepy eye so yeah make them red don't make them another color <laughs> make them red so they look creepy and then um i'm still using my 15 mm liner brush and then after that, of course, you want to go ahead and cure that. And then I'm going to go ahead and top coat it so nothing gets ruined or nothing like that. So I'm going to go ahead and top coat it using my shiny top coat. I, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, you guys, but I made the, the whole nail, I made it matte. And then I started to work on my eyeball. So I'm going to go ahead and make my eyeball shiny, cure it under the lamp for about 60 seconds. Once it comes out of the lamp, then I'm going to I'm going to start to add my blink to it.
So after we're done with the whole bling situation, we're going to go ahead and top coat everything. We're using my shiny top coat. This is available on the website as well as a matte top coat. Don't forget to check that out. And you can use any of our brand ambassadors discount codes for 15% off. Don't forget to use them. So we're going to go ahead and top coat everything. The only one that's going to be matte, it's the middle nail, as I had mentioned to you guys prior. So then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish this up. We're going to cure it under the lamp for about 60 seconds. Once it comes out of the lamp, we're going to go ahead and add our um, cuticle oil. You don't want your cuticles looking all crusty, dusty, so please add your cuticle oil. okay baby girl so this is the end result i really hope you guys like it i actually like it i do you guys um i was not sure where this design was gonna go to but i ended up loving it i ended up actually loving it and it is giving kind of like monster mash vibes if that makes kind of sense so yeah baby girls um i really hope you guys enjoyed the story time as well i know it was a little weird but yeah that's that's what happened to me <laughs> so yeah um i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope you guys like it please don't forget to comment i know i've been a little behind on my comments i've been reading them you guys but i i haven't been able to respond because i've been so 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 busy with the online store and remember i've been um also recording for you guys so yeah i'm so sorry about that but please don't stop commenting i do read them and thank you so much everybody who's been supporting and who's been a loyal supporter thank you thank you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i really really appreciate everything you guys so yeah you guys i'll be seeing you here on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye okay but before we leave we have to choose another winner for the giveaway so good luck everybody we're gonna be doing another one i'm so sorry you guys but the last one didn't reach out so good luck everybody and the winner is let's see the breeze and nails congratulations girl please reach out to me all my info will be in the description box below Bye bye